Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Brian's Farm. Today, I am out here at the corn maze. I think the last video I did out here was before I opened up, before I even had everything in place. So I was telling you what was gonna be where, but you never actually got to see it. So I'm gonna do a little walk around today as I'm also setting up because I'm gonna be opening up today, it's Sunday. And I'm gonna show you basically what I have and how it works. So first off, I'm gonna kind of start in the middle. Right here are my wagons. All these wagons are just basically for the convenience of my, for my customers. That way they can either put their kids in them, pull them around, you know, wherever they wanna take them, or they can take them out here to the pumpkin patch where they can pick pumpkins. Now, last night we got our first frost. Luckily the sun came out early and got it burned got that frost burned off, but I wish I would have got a video yesterday. It's almost like night and day. This whole field was about two, three foot high, and now everything is coming down, laying down. Actually, here's some frost still yet. And so, you see me scraping it on there. So obviously frost is not good on pumpkins. If we get a hard frost and it lays on there, the sun doesn't come out and get that burned off, it'll actually leave a wet mark. This frost and these now, Basically, it's gonna have no effect besides on the plant itself, but the pumpkins are already fully grown and mature, so that's not gonna matter at all. Actually, out here, it's kind of a good thing that this frost came, because now the customers can actually see what's going on out here. I don't know if you can see it with the sun, but you can see all the hundreds and hundreds of pumpkins that are out here now, especially the bigger ones. The sugar ones are still kind of a little bit hidden. But, so yeah, it actually made it look kind of even better out here. So next, I'm gonna come over here to the, what we call our pumpkin weighing station. I'm gonna get this opened up. This is where we'll take admissions for the hayride, which is actually down there at the moment. But this is where we take admissions for the hayride, and they can also buy tickets here for like the cotton candy and other things. Oh, and I also wanted to show you, this is Sammy's wagon that she decorated. Now, I do need to fill it back up. People have been buying stuff off of it, but. She did a really nice job. She painted all these signs. I cut them out, she painted them, and then, you know, put this fancy little bow on there and uh, got everything decorated. And then around here, she has even more. Her mom actually bought me these flowers for decorating, which I actually have a couple over there. And I think I have another one down there. She had me like five or six of them and then, What's actually not out here right now, Sammy's mom also bought her a scarecrow and Sammy's absolutely in love with it. So then we'll come back over here more to like the entrance. Here is the, my cornhole boards that my Pat made. Now yesterday we had a cornhole tournament. I sadly did not win, but everybody loved the boards. My Pat did a perfect job on them. And what's even better is they have that logo on them. So not only do we have the one just, you know, for our produce, but then we also have the one, which is our new logo now for the corn maze. Then over here, is my fire pit section. My buddy got me metal, and then we took that to Votech, which is the, my high school that I went to, and they got these fire pits made for me, and then engraved with Groin's Corn Maze. I got not one, not two, but three of them, and they, everybody just seems to think they're the coolest things ever, which I do as well. And then if you go back, 
actually pretty far back in my videos. You can see my buddy Alex helping me. We got these benches built, very simple, but they work so well. The only thing I wanna get out here yet is a table because we serve s'mores packages and it's just nice for people to have something to work on. And then you've also seen that we got this grain bin basketball hoop built. Now this is free. If with any admission, I have two admission prices. This is free no matter what. They can come in here, grab the basketball, and for as long as they want, unless there's people waiting in line, they can, that was a terrible shot, but they can play basketball, they'll roll down, come right out, and of course it didn't go in. Let me, let me do that one more time. Hold on. There we go, that's what was supposed to happen. Appears that the fire is still hot from last night because my paper is smoking. I have lit not one match. Try and get this set up here quick. Okay, so now that the fire pits are going, I showed you this section over here. I'll finish this off. This is our cotton candy machine. And then our face painting station, which obviously nobody's here right now, but they'll get that set up and these tables will be full probably within the next hour. And then over here is what we call our hay bale bowling alley, which is actually straw bale. Um, we have pins, just like a bowling alley. This is actually an old shuffleboard court we have the straw bales as like our bumpers and then we have two balls down here and again if you purchase one wristband you get it for free if you purchase our most basic wristband then you have to pay to play but either way it's good fun and the kids just absolutely love this they get they play this for 10 15 20 minutes at a time so then over here is the admission booth for the corn maze here we just have our basic rules and then here is our admission. The sign's a little smaller than I would have liked, but I'm sure you can read that. We have the 10, the 20, the $50 season pass. Tells you what everything includes and what it does not include. And down here is the kid zone. So right back there, past that white tent, is where you come in. You pass the fire pits, bowling alley, you have the basketball hoop, cornhole boards, pumpkin weighing station. Then you can either go left into the corn maze and then you have the pumpkin patch, or you can come down here where we have this archway it says kid zone. And then we have right over here is the wagon ride that'll take you around the maze. It's about nine acres. And then down here we have uh, the hay bale mini maze. We have the corn pit. We have goats and we have bunnies, which I don't have out here right now. And then we also have the uh, large bounce house. Okay, so here's the goats. They don't have names. They're my cousin's goats. We have three of them here. Then over here, we have the bounce house. Now this is my second one. I'm gonna be getting a third one after this weekend is over. It's gonna be a rock climbing one. So here's the corn pit. This is a pretty big attraction, especially for the little kids. 
Not only do they not get near as messy as sand, so the parents love it, but it's also different than what you see at most places. Over here is the tic-tac-toe boards that Sammy has made, and then she painted X's and O's on these little pumpkins so people know which uh, side they're playing on. And then over here is our checkerboard. Sammy painted this as well, and then, you know, instead of having red and black checkers, we have orange and white. Then lastly, for what I have to offer at this corn maze is the mini maze. It's just, you know, not real hard, but it is a little difficult for smaller children. And they absolutely love it. They'll go through it three or four times. You come around here, come out over this way, come around the bend, and then you're out. But as you can see, there's many places kids can get, you know, turned around in here. And it's awesome because the parents can still see from the outside what the kids are doing and there's no places that they can get lost at. 